perfecto. And then, um, and then of course, if everybody can stay muted, unless you have a question, I'm gonna go ahead and mute everybody now. If you do have a question, go ahead and just unmute yourself and ask. But we are talking about memes today. You guys may have seen uh, or saw, actually, I'm not sure which one it is. <laughs> Uh, memes in the past, right? Um, a lot of times the kids love memes. And what a meme is, is just an image that usually has an image and text with it. So I'll show you a few examples. Um, oh, I need to share my screen first because you guys can't see what I have here. All right, share. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to just search the word meme for you guys in Google. Okay. Oh, look, a, def a dictionary definition came up. I didn't even expect that, but look at it. Let's just use that while it's here. An element of a culture or system of behavior that may be considered to be passed from one individual to another by non-genetic means. Okay, so that's like an imitation. A humorous image. This is the one we're looking at today. A humorous image, video, piece of text, etc., that is copied often with slight variations and spread rapidly by internet users. Right? So these are just, I'm going to go up to the top and click on images, and I'll show you some examples of some memes. So basically what it is is a picture that people can relate to or they know, and then there's some funny text over it, right? So like this one, one does not simply, what does it say? Remember for one's film? I don't know. I don't get that one. Some of the memes I don't get because you have to like have watched a movie or something to understand it. Or let's see, that moment when your uncle finds the, oh, that's not a good one either. <laughs> So you guys, some of the memes can be really, really, really bad. So be careful as you're searching. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, let's find one that's actually not awful. Um, to meme or not to meme, that is the question, right? So there's William Shakespeare. That's a fun one. Um, what else do we have here? Well, there's a quarantine one. Uh, actually, if, let's, let's search. This is a fun one um, because... Again, we may find stuff on here that we don't want to see, but that's the, that's what Barbara, you KJ and I were just cracking up that you said you didn't know who Lori Lightfoot was because she is like the most memed person in the last two weeks really? of all the so, corona. Yeah, I, I don't really follow politics too much, which you'd be surprised because my husband's an attorney and he follows. But even if you much. watch the news or the weather, she's yeah, she's I don't, I don't watch it. I don't watch that kind of things typically. I let Isaac tell me because <laughs> I don't like to hear all the bad news the whole time. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So so yeah, I avoid the news and the weather and stuff like that. And I just let Isaac tell me if there's something I need to be concerned about. <laughs> you know, I'll have to show you guys my meme of me with Lori Lightfoot. So that's funny. I'll have to show you guys. That, that. would be good. Yes. Oh, I love the one where she's the queen from Frozen. <laughs> and she's, you know, when it snowed and it was going around, it said, see, I told you fools to stay home. <laughs> Oh, how funny. So here's one over here on the right side of my screen here. When you find out your normal daily lifestyle is called quarantine, right? That's funny. And, and <laughs> all this meme a couple of weeks ago, I was like, oh, that reminds me of my son. He probably thinks that because he just, he's a homebody. He doesn't like going and hanging out with people. And, you know, now everybody has to be a homebody. Let's see if there's any other ones. Um, so when can we leave our houses next? Government, it's going to be May, right? <laughs> and, and that's funny because uh, this is a uh, Justin Timberlake from NSYNC, and they have a song that where he says it's going to be me, but it sounds like he's saying it's going to be May, right? So it's like it, it adds like puns and stuff like that. Then you have being quarantined and lonely, but protecting your friends at any cost. <laughs> So there's just there's I, I, funny things, uh, having coworkers, right? Like they've turned like just some funny stuff in here. Um, Kung Fu, Chinese coronavirus. Let's see if we can get any more fun ones. Um, so Barbara, um, if you create a meme, can you copyright it or protect it or? Um, yes, but, um, but you definitely want people to share it still because that's how you get exposure. So you don't, I mean, you could copyright it, but, um, it might be expensive to like actually go through the process to fully legally protect it. I would just recommend putting, uh, see how this on the bottom says twisted humor. That's just them branding it. So they've put their like business name on it. 
So okay. just brand it with your yeah, business just brand name. It okay. Real small like that because if you brand if you brand it too big, people won't want to share it. Right. Okay. And and memes are so current that by the time you went through all that process, it wouldn't even be funny anymore. Right. They're right. so tied to current events and things a lot yeah. of times. So what's the life expectancy? What, a couple months or it depends based so on the, the event? These these quarantine ones clearly are going to not be as funny once the quarantine is over. There sure. Are some, not. There are some that have a longer lifespan, right? Um you know, there's uh for instance, like if you look up um what's that guy's name? Um, um the real tough guy goodness what is his name Arnold Schwarzenegger no, Chuck Norris okay, Chuck Norris Chuck Norris okay so I can so Chuck Norris memes are always in style right oh, yeah. um so the flu has to get Chuck Norris shots once a week right so rather than him getting the shots like Chuck Norris ones are always they're always around no matter what okay right um when Chuck Norris attends a feminist rally, he comes back with his shirt ironed and a sandwich, right? Like just things like that. <laughs> I mean, like Chuck Norris ones are always in style. Oh yeah. And to be honest, I don't even know who this Chuck Norris is, but I see memes of him all the time. He was Walker, him. Texas Ranger, the TV show. I was about to say, I assume that's a movie or something. I don't really watch. It was, a, it was a television like. show in the nineties. So, and then like this one, Chuck Norris can make a fire by rubbing two ice cubes together, right? Like the Chuck Norris ones are always funny. They're always relevant. So there are some that can last a lot longer than others. It's just going to be dependent on how you do it. Okay? Hey, can you put in one, uh, can you put in a meme for the name Lori, L-O-R-I, Lightfoot meme? Oh yeah, there's... With there's a zillion of them right now. If we could find the one with her and Dave. <laughs> no, I. The reason why is when she was inaugurated, she was inaugurated. I I stood in line and I got a picture with her and her wife, and she was shocked because you know my case and that. But oh, I got yeah. a picture and I haven't put it out there yet, which I will with a meme. So that's why I'm asking. Okay. Um. So yeah. There are a good number here. I expected a lot more than that. Um, oh, there's these a good don't one. look Keep like the points. most recent ones. I've been seeing a lot of them in the last like day or two. Okay. New ones. Let's see. Um, let's well, she did have a picture where a couple weeks ago she got a haircut. Yes. And then the uh, the cosmetologist the, the put it on the internet, and then she said she you know wore gloves and a mask, which she didn't. So I figured there'd be a meme out there for that one. Oh, interesting. Uh, here, I here's just one with Chuck one. Norris and Lori Lightfoot. Chuck Norris was going to defeat the coronavirus until Lori Lightfoot called and said, "Chuck, I got this." <laughs> <laughs> so, good, so that's nice. a good relevant one, even with Chuck Norris. You know, so mm -hmm. let's say yeah. if you find one of these, right? What can you do with it? If you find one of these, you could save it to your computer. Um, you right click on it and just choose save image. It saves on your computer. When you use this, you have to reuse it in the form that it is created in, especially if see down here, there's a, um, they put like their branding on it. You do not want to be the person who tries to cut off the branding to make it look like your own. Um, it's just not cool to do that, right? Um, but you can create your own, and I'm going to show you that next. So if you like, if you find something that you think is funny, that gives you an idea, and you want to create one of your own, or even a similar one, or something like that, um, th that's an idea. So after you've saved it to your computer, you just upload it on social media the same way you would any other picture. And it will save most likely in your downloads folder, unless you've saved it somewhere else. But by default, it should go to your downloads folder. All right, so the next site I want to take you to is the site that you can generate your own memes. There are lots of sites out there. This is just the one that I'm showing you on today's uh, video. So this one is Image Flip. So it's I-M-G-F-L-I-P.com. And then if you do the forward slash meme generator, this will be on, uh, on your homework image. The full link is on there, so it'll be easy for you to... Uh, remember, you don't necessarily have to write it down now if you don't have paper. But when you come here, you can go to, um, let's see if I search, uh, let's search some memes. 
So I can search, let's search um, um, real estate. I don't know, that's just the first thing that came to my mind. So we can, um, so a, a real eagle came up, but let's see if we could find, let's see, house. It's free real estate, um, let's see. And so you could click on some of these images Right, and see how like, this is SpongeBob, right? So you might say, um, you could start typing right here where it says text one, say um, the face you make, right? Because that's a popular thing that the kids say. Um, when you can't find your, I don't know, nose is what came to me. <laughs> um, so you could put anything you want in there. And then over here on the right side, you can change the text. So you could make it all caps if you want, um, that's the top, right now it's the top one I'm working on, the face you make. See, so I made it all caps, make it bold. I could italicize it. Um, I could change the sizes and the alignment. And then I could click apply this to all the text boxes if I want to. If I only want to apply it to the top one, then I just click off of it and it saves. I can change the colorings of this. So the first color is the color of the text and the second color is the color of the stroke. Okay, so the, um, click off that. So let, we can make this like orange and then we can make this uh, green, right? Well, oh, that makes it real bright. <laughs> Barbara, can you upload your own picture and then you start can. this process? Yep, so right here, there's a spot that says upload your own image. So Dave, I really wish I had an image of you right now. <laughs> All right, let's see, I have- I'll Give I'm, you the uncle some one. That would I, be fun. I have, can you do a screenshot? Yeah. What was that? That's my phone. Oh. Is that okay. the white on the guitar? So we're going to just use me for a moment because I have a picture of me on my desktop because I've been sending bios to everyone because I've got a whole bunch of speaking gigs people are bringing me up for. Oh, I accidentally clicked off that. So I saved it to my desktop to make it easy. Um, okay. So then down here, upload. So now I have this and then I could change the text to, um, when you think you're all that and a bag of chips. See how it like put it um, on its own? It, like it, it went to the next line on its own. I didn't have to press enter, I just typed. And so if I, uh, if I add more, it will make it fit as it needs to. See how it just adds more lines and makes it smaller and larger and stuff like that. So after you have found one um, that you like, after you've created it and you like it and you're ready to use it, you can um, do a couple of things. If you want to remove the watermark, I think you need to pay for it. Yeah, you've got to pay if you want to remove the watermark, the image flip watermark. Um, and if you want to make it private, where like you're not actually going to have it on this site available for people to see, like you you want to use it just for you, then you click private and then generate meme and it will download for you. So then you just click download image. Um, and then it downloaded and it will be in my folder. But if you want it to be, um, make another. But if you want it to be a fi findable by other people, like these ones down here, these are things that people have posted using this same image, right? So I could, if I wanted to find an image of SpongeBob, for instance, I could look through here and look at all the different options I have. Um, and then I could choose one. So if I click on the right arrow here, it will just show me the next meme in line. And I could just look for some memes that I like, or I could create my own. So, so, so it looks like with the clicking image, so you, you can remove the you know, website, but of course you can't replace it with yours. But what if it's your own picture? So if you remove it and then if it's your own personal downloadable, you know, picture, would you be able to use your information on there? Yeah. So with, um, let me pull up the one that I just uh, created to see where. Like if that. you want to use your website or your name or probably mm. your website, hypothetically. So see how small this image flip right here is. 
Right. So you technically, um, now something like this, of course, I created this myself. The image flip did not create this. I created it in there. That's why that's on there. So on something like this, because I it's on a, cl a plain background, if I wanted to cut that out myself, I probably could. I created this image myself. I, you know, I, you know, that's probably fine. But, um, and then I could put my own branding on their small or what you could do if you want to give credit to them so that other people know where you made it so that they can make it. A lot of times I think it's helpful for people to see where you've made it. So in case they want to do it, you could leave theirs real small like that, but then put yours maybe bigger somewhere else. Smart. Yeah. Makes sense. That way that you still give them credit because they're allowing you to do this for free and it was easy for you. So, you know, sometimes it's nice to be able to offer that credit. Makes sense. I like it. All right. Um, so does anyone have anything else they want me to search on uh, the memes? Yeah, hidden Uncle Sam. Let's see if anything comes up. Come on, how come it's not? Enter. There we go. So, oh, look, this would be good for you, Dave. And you could say, um, um, Uncle Sam, oops, Uncle Sam wants your money. Oh, there. Hey, let me make this smaller so you can see the whole image. No, you could put Uncle Sam don't want you, but he wants your money. <laughs> Doesn't care about you, but he wants his money. Yeah. Yeah. But he wants his money. Yeah. Wants your money. That's. And then look, see this. We can italicize. I think we can italicize. Oh, it italicizes the whole thing, not just as part of it. But um, we could bold that, right? We could make. We could change the color of this one if we wanted it to really stand out, right? Yeah, that's good. White, and then the red's the mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, so you could you could change this how you see fit, and that that um their watermark is super small that I don't think you really need to worry about it being on there. But you could create some fun memes here. They could be business related. They could be you know coronavirus related. But the thing is, is memes generate a lot of engagement. You guys, people like them. People comment on them. People share them. It's a very awesome way to get engagement. Barbara, make the top of it the Uncle Sam don't want you, but in red. Uh huh. And then uh, make that red, and then the the bottom he wants your money. Make that green. There this green or a different green? No, that's well, yeah, er, whatever. Maybe if you have a deeper, more can... like a money green. How about yeah, that? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's good. All right, I'll download that's that for you. Um so that you could use it yeah Maybe. thank you there, there. <laughs> um so, wait you are not logged in if you want to claim or delete this oh okay because i forgot to mark the private one hold on change settings mark it private and then generate me perfect there we go nice. all right Perfect. And then, um, and then look, you, you could use the same one, Dave, and create different text here and here. And you could use that same image five or six times with right, different right, sayings right. on it. Yep. All right. Anybody have anything else they want me to search up here? So as long as you make it private, you can download it. Yeah, you can download it even if it's not private too, but you just have to log in first. And I, be I believe you have, there's a free account option too. There's not just paid ones. Okay. Um, so, so Barbara, how often are, or the group, this is a group question, how, has anyone used memes? And if you haven't, does this kind of stir your mind to say, oh, you know what, I can utilize this in my marketing? Anyone? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I have to play with it, especially I was going to look and see like for health or healthy living or, you know, something to do with health or exercise. I don't know. Yeah, that looks so, like there's a lot of possibilities. Are, are memes considered a, um, serious or a little more like tongue in cheek? Um, they're more Probably for fun. Both. Yeah, they're more humorous and for fun, but you can definitely make them serious and professional as well. But the majority are fun. 
What's that? I use, I use them all the time. I have a oh, you do? Me, yeah, I have a friend who sends me funny ones. So we'll post those maybe like two or three times a week. And then I also pro, um, use some inspirational ones. And I would say each time um, those are probably the most popular posts that I make. Nice. Really? Thank you for sharing that, Tim. Yeah, people love inspiration. They love quotes as well. Um, and that's why when those images you guys made in Canva, use quotes on those because people love quotes and inspiration. Now for okay. us, we save memes. Like for instance, you see we have coffee memes, we have marketing memes. Uh, we save different like memes to be able to use. So like for instance, if I click on the marketing memes, all of these are funny marketing things that we could put just as fun stuff in our groups or on our business pages for the Fuse Marketing and Media. Um, this is a funny one of, you know, thinking of content from scratch. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's a good way to transition into hiring us for, <laughs> for creating your content. <laughs> but of course we wouldn't put that with the meme every time. It's okay to put some sales stuff every once in a while with memes, but don't make it a habit of trying to, every time you put a meme, um, be salesy because then people will stop looking at your memes. So I might put out like six or seven funny memes about marketing. And then the next one I'll put, uh, if you're ready to to hire us here's the link or something like that and so as I keep going through you know just um funny um funny marketing memes that we could use and on the coffee one the reason I chose that is because um you know coffee is one of the things that I like you know I already shared with you guys my addiction on that but um but it's because it, it goes with my personality right so don't talk to me I'm drinking my coffee my doctor said I need to cut down on caffeine so I'm down to just one cup of coffee a day Barbara right? you got one in there on ice cream you got one in there on ice cream for you I don't but you know what I should and I, I yes. love that you say that because one of our trainings that's coming up, uh, let me look at which one it is. Um, uh, the, oh, it's the day like 29 or 30. So it's coming up soon. But uh, the title has ice cream in it. And I'd like to see an ice cream meme. Yeah. Yeah. It's called, I think I called it I, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for, for I ice don't cream. Right. Yeah. Oh no, I think ice I called it ice stream because it's a streaming thing that I'm teaching you guys. So I don't think I named it ice cream. I think I did ice stream, but, uh, but ice it was funny. Yeah. So yeah, just going through the different, um, things that, so it doesn't necessarily have to be business related. See these coffee things are not business related, but it shows a personality of me. Right, it shows my personality, helps people get to know me. Now, if I come back here, um, Dave, you said ice cream, right? Yeah. Let's go in here. Let's see, give it a moment. I don't think that's ice cream, but. <laughs> now that looks like Shaquille O'Neal. Let's see. And so some, sometimes this see, ice cream. Uh, Shaq machine broke. Um, Go to Joe Biden ice cream and cash. Try okay, that let's one. Try that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, yeah, he's got ice cream and nice. cash. He's holding twenty dollars oh, yeah. in an ice cream cone. Like, I, I don't, I just don't get it. But <laughs> okay, so um, so yeah, so you could as you start typing, and you could go to crying woman eating ice cream. Boy, have all of us women been there at some point. <laughs> but um, so it could, you know, um, Marie, let's think of something health-wise for you. Health. No, I like that one that says uh, your man never tasted that good. You know, the ice cream. Oh, my goodness. Because the ice cream, it's, it's like, a, you know, comfort food, right? It's comfort food. So. Okay, so you have, um, oh, M Marie, oh. Okay, so this is not such a good one because I'm pretty sure that that white pile is a drug. <laughs> I don't think that's sugar that he's eating, but it maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> I hope it's not the I other. I think it's supposed to be, but he doesn't. Yeah, look. it definitely looks like something pretty bad. Um, let's see, healthy lunch. Let's see what this is. So, Marie, you could even use something simple like this, right? It's a healthy looking sandwich, and you could say something as something like. Um, what are you eating for lunch today, right? It could be something simple like that. And, or we could go to, um, 
and see something like this, right? And you could put some text on there. Um, healthy choices. Well, that's yeah. See, I see these on Facebook choices. all the time, Barbara, but I never knew how they created them or where they came from. Yeah, to be that's honest, kind of cool. that's good. What? What's that? That's kind of cool because as she's talking, I'm like just writing down a bunch of words to look up and see what different ones there are. Good. Yeah, because good, this good. could be good, like you said, to engage. If you just have the text, but you don't have the picture, if you have both the meme, then it's more engaging. You know what I'm saying? Because exactly. we're visual. We're visual. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah, Makes that's sense. really cool. Well, because I think like two weeks ago, all I did was just write a post on my regular Facebook page, and I just said, what are you grateful for? And I had so many responses within two or three days. It would have I remember. been a picture. Exactly. Yeah, that would have been exactly. Cool, I got a lot yeah. of response from that. You know, people answered. It was really neat. Good. Nice. Good. So a lot, that brings me to you guys' homework assignment then, um, which let me find it. I think it's right in here. You guys are going to go to this website, which is listed on your homework here. Do you guys like the fun thing I made? Have you lost your meme? <laughs> uh, yeah. so, so you're going to go to um, imgflip.com forward slash meme generator. Create at least one meme. Have fun with it. You could create more if you get excited, but create at least one to test it out. And then post your meme here as a comment underneath this homework assignment in uh, unit 25. I am super excited to see the memes you guys come up with. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. But that's it, you guys. Does anyone have any questions, comments, or concerns before we get off the call? No, this will be fun. <laughs> I'm worried. I, had a, I had a feeling you were going to love this one. As much as you love the yay text, I knew you were going to love this one. <laughs> I loved yeah, it. Yeah, this one's good. I like this. This is really good. Yeah, I like this one even better because I'm visual. I like pictures better than fonts. Although the one font that I love isn't always available in the text. And Barbara knows the there's a font called Damn Architect, and it looks just like old-fashioned drafting block printing. Mm -hmm. And I can't seem to get that anywhere. And that's the font we used for Phyllis's logo. Yeah. So we find logo, that's the font we used for that. Mm-hmm. But I would love to be able to text in that font. Yeah, so a lot, yeah, you're right. A lot of times you don't have that option, like on mm -hmm. Google and stuff like that. All righty. Well, then um, you guys have fun. I'm expecting to see a whole lot of memes on that post. You guys blow that post up. <laughs> Barbara, thank you. This Looks was a like good fun. call. I would, I'm come to my senses now and I have not lost my meme, okay? <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Thank you. And then, Kim, I'll see you at 3.30 for our scheduled call. Yes, ma'am. All right, you guys have a good day. All right. Have a good day, guys.